With only days to go in California's November 2024 election, political observers are wondering, is Gavin Newsom dragging down Democrat candidates in the state? Plus, we've got fresh polling on the ballot propositions. Can we save Prop 13? And can we pass a crime wave fighting measure with Prop 36? All that and more coming up. I'm Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California, and we've got fresh polling, the latest polling on California's November 2024 race that I want to share with you. Uh, but one of the interesting things is that Democrat political operatives are now starting to whisper about Gavin Newsom being a drag on Democrat candidates across the state in California. Oh, that's right. Golden boy, Gavin, ain't so golden anymore. Uh, I think people are waking up to the fact that he is completely uh, unqualified for the job. He's a liar, uh, a hypocrite, and he has failed on so, so many counts. Um, here is uh, the latest polling. And um, we're going to be coming back to this polling um, uh, on the ballot measures in just a moment, because we have a lot of ballot measure fights uh, at Reform California that we are engaged on and that we hope we can win in this election. The Public Policy Institute of California is like the Gallup poll for the state of California. They, they do very uh, solid uh, polling research. I don't always agree with the, how they frame their questions, but it is a solid poll. Uh, they did 1,646 interviews, California adults in English and Spanish, October 7 to 15. So this is the, fresh, uh, the freshest data we have on where we are in the November 2024 election. Uh, top of mind, cost of living. Uh, inflation, uh, people's economic condition, 35%. Uh, cost of living also is the second spot, which is housing costs. So when you look at the two of those together, we're talking 53% has to deal with inflation and the fact that people can't afford to live in California. Um, let's go down to uh, Newsom's approval rating, or shall I say his mega, mega disapproval rating. Overall, do you approve or disapprove of the way that Governor Gavin Newsom is handling his job as governor of California? 53% disapprove. Only 44% approve. Those numbers are like what Biden has nationally. Okay, that's how bad Newsom is, is considered and, and viewed. In the blue state of California, so a lot of Democrats are saying, yeah, my guy ain't doing a good job. Uh, and of course, a bunch of independents as well. When you are down uh, nine points on your favorability ratings, uh, if uh, candidates are running across the state, they're probably going to be running away from you, Mr. Newsom, because you are toxic and uh, unpopular. And it must really just hurt his ego. I mean, that's the, the interesting thing about this, besides the impact on you know, the political races that we're all trying to win uh, to take back our state, is do you realize just what an ego crush this is for Gavin Newsom. I mean, this guy is so high on himself. He is just so arrogant. He's got the glam photos and you know, he spent $250,000 on a taxpayer funded photographer, your money to make him look, oh, so dreamy. Um, this guy is all about his ego. And so it just, you know, I, I, it's possible that his advisors are not even sharing the bad news with him. Uh, but there you go, a nine point uh, disapproval net rating. Um, he's almost as unpopular as the legislature and people don't like legislators, period. Um, so uh, let's talk about what this means in terms of uh, the political races. Here is Cal Matters. California congressional Republicans bank on Newsom's unpopularity. So Newsom is being used as a weapon. And I think uh, that's a probably a, a pretty good, good uh, um, uh, observation. Now, this is um, uh, a story that is outdated because it says that um, Newsom's approval rating is only one point net approval, 49% approve, 48% disapproval. You see that? That's in the September PPIC poll. Well, here you go. Look at this. 
they've got it completely surging in the opposite direction. People are not happy with Gavin Newsom and it's moved markedly just in the past month. So even with um, this older data that made him a li little bit more uh, equal in his approval ratings, uh, the story still stands. Newsom is absolutely a drag uh, on some of these target races. And you've got um, congressional races, you've got state assembly races, state senate races, these races, many of the uh, Republicans are now tying their Democrat opponent to Gavin Newsom. Uh, here is an ad that Ken Calvert's running in a targeted congressional seat in Riverside against Democrat Will, Will Rollins. It says, quote, he's slick, loves taxes and more liberal than Gavin Newsom. We can't stop Gavin Newsom, but we can stop radical Will Collins. Again, this is not just to Republican voters. This is to Democrats and independents and Republicans on broadcast TV. Uh, Newsom is not even campaigning for Democrats. That's a, a, a sure sign that even Democrats know that the state's top Democrat is absolutely toxic and they should keep their distance from him. Uh, so uh, Newsom is not commenting to Cal Matters. And by the way, Cal Matters is not a conservative uh, news organization. They're pretty left. Um, and uh, if he's not talking to a favorable outlet like Cal Matters, he knows that there is absolutely a, a, a problem. Now, Newsom is opposed to Prop 36. Uh, and in a moment, I'll share with you the polling. But that makes him again, a controversial figure. This is a guy that wants to protect criminals at the expense of crime victims. He's okay with the crime wave continuing. He opposes Prop 36. And um, that means he doesn't want to give police and prosecutors the tools to arrest and punish criminals. Uh, you're going to see the polling in just a moment. He is on the wrong side of that issue. And, but he's so arrogant, he doesn't care. He thinks, oh, well, I'm just going to take a position on a like 70% issue. Um, it's so wonderful to see Newsom crashing and burning. This is a guy who thinks he's going to be running for president in four years after Kamala Harris flames out in uh, the next week. No, 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 Gavin, you're done. You never earned your position that you're in right now. Everything's always been given to you on a silver platter. And the voters finally can see you for what you are, a failure and a fraud. Let's take a look at the latest polling in the ballot propositions, because there are 10 ballot propositions. Several of them are very consequential that we are um, have, we are waging major campaigns on it at Reform California. Um, let's go through uh, propositions two and four. These are the big uh, boondoggle bonds. We are urging a no vote on two and a no vote on Prop 4. Uh, Prop 2 right now has 52% yes vote, 46% no vote. I think we can defeat Prop 2. It's a, it's a $10 billion bond for schools, but it, you know, it's not going to go to the classroom. It's going to go to the black hole of bureaucracy. 52 to 46. Um, we can defeat Prop 2. I'm a little less confident on Prop 4, the boondoggle bond that says it's for wildland fire and water, when in fact it does not it, it allow any funding to go for wildland fire risk manage, um, mitigation, nor does it allow money to go for water storage. It's a boondoggle bond. Um, right now, that's 60% yes and 38% no. Um, I still think we can defeat Prop 4 because as people start reading a little bit more about these propositions and as they get our plain English voter guide, and remember, we give you the plain English description of all these measures, and that is our most important weapon to defeat the bad ones and get the good ones passed, go to electionguidecalifornia.org. Electionguidecalifornia.org. Share our plain English voter guide because that's our most powerful weapon against these ballot measure fights. Also... Our Plain English Voter Guide reveals the 470 local tax hikes that are hidden on the ballot in regions throughout the state. Chances are you have two to four tax hikes on your ballot in this election, but they're hidden behind deceptive titles, false and misleading titles that the politicians state and locally have put on the ballot. Don't get duped. Get the Plain English Voter Guide and share it with all your friends, family, and neighbors at electionguidecalifornia.org. All right, back to the polling. So the next one is Prop 5. This is a really bad proposition. It will partially repeal Prop 13 from 1978 by making it easier to raise your property taxes by lowering the threshold required for a property tax increase locally from two-thirds to only 55%. Uh, 
it is tight as a tick. 50% no, 48% yes. We have got to keep pounding the hell out of this Prop 5 to defeat it. It is so important. By the way, we do need resources to run our campaign ads, get the voter guide out. Please contribute at reformcalifornia.org, reformcalifornia.org. We literally are funding this campaign day to day. Whatever we have raised in the last 24 hours every day at 8 a.m., I sit down with the campaign treasurer and the campaign manager, and we decide well, how many ads are we going to run, how many mailers can we fund, how many texts can we do, how many student canvassers we can send door to door. Please contribute online. Put gas in our tank at reformcalifornia.org. we got to defeat Prop 5 in this election, and it's tight as a tick. Uh, Prop 6 says it's going to end slavery. Bitch, please. There's no slavery in this state except taxpayers I would consider slavers uh, uh, enslaved. 41% um, yes, 56% no. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, Prop 6 basically would coddle criminals behind bars by telling the prison wardens that they're not allowed to tell prisoners to clean their own cell, will mop the floor, do laundry, or do the food service. Um, no, they, the, Prop 6 allows them to form unions and bargain for salary hikes insane. No on six. And it looks like it's trending in that direction. Prop 32, the minimum wage hike, voters are finally realizing it's an inflation spiker. 54% no. That's great. How about Prop 33, the uh, awful uh, inflationary rent control, anti-private property rights initiative? 54% no. Those numbers have been pretty steady for the no side. We're not out of the woods yet. We have to keep pounding the hell out of this Prop 33, uh, which will only increase the cost of housing in California. It'll choke off investment in any sort of apartment um, uh, or rental um, uh, projects, and we need to have more supply. So 54% no, that's a good position to be at right now, but nothing is finalized. Prop 34 is uh, an initiative to stop left-wing political organizations from getting taxpayer-funded contracts and then skimming off the top of those using a loophole to put that money into left-wing politics. It's an awful, awful practice. Vote yes on 34 to end that practice. 49% uh, are right now voting no, 47% yes. This is basically a dead heat on that initiative. Prop 35 is a medical um, funding uh, initiative, but it says nothing about how it's going to fund. You know how it's going to fund? Imposes a permanent uh, increase in your health care taxes. Insane. But sadly, because the ballot title doesn't reveal that it's a tax increase, 62% are voting yes, 36% no. Again, the Plain English Voter Guide can help turn the tide. We got to get that voter guide out to voters so they know exactly what they're voting on. It's not free funding. It is a tax increase. Prop 36. Remember I mentioned earlier that Gavin Newsom is one of the chief opponents against the uh, Prop 36 initiative that will make crime illegal again in California. It's such an important initiative to, to empower our police and prosecutors to arrest and punish criminals. Prop 36 right now, look at those numbers, 73% yes. And of course, 25% uh, no. This is amazing. Uh, by the way, who in the hell are the 25% now? Do you not understand that we have a crime wave, wave going on? But look at this. When Newsom is the leading face in opposition to a common sense supermajority initiative to fight crime at 73%, he is way out of step. He is tone deaf. And that's why his approval ratings are down. And that's why a lot of Democrats are running away from him. And I think it is absolutely glorious that he's that controversial. Oh, it must be hurting his little precious ego so bad. Um, anyway, we've got a lot of work to do in the next several days. Uh, go onto that website, reformcalifornia.org. Click under voter help. Click under voter guides. You can get to the voter guides directly at electionguidecalifornia.org. And remember, we don't just have a statewide guide. We cover uh, all of the local races, including judges and school board throughout the state. So check out the regional guides for your area at electionguidecalifornia.org. And once again, please share that voter guide and chip in a contribution so that we can get paid advertisements out there to also distribute the voter guide. You can contribute on that site, electionguidecalifornia.org or reformcalifornia.org. Until next time, Gavin Newsom is super unpopular and it's only gonna get worse. 
and I am Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. But before you click away, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification button so you get updated when we post new episodes. Plus, like this video and share it with your friends so that we can help spread our message across the state. Reform California with Carl DeMaio is paid for by Carl DeMaio for State Assembly.